Kripamasha here. In my never-ending quest to keep you informed and or educated, here's an interesting story. In the pre-dawn hours of November 12th, 1833, the sky over North America seemed to explode with falling stars, unlike anything anyone had ever seen before, and visible over the entire continent. An Illinois newspaper reported the very heavens seemed ablaze. An Alabama newspaper described thousands of luminous bodies shooting across the sky in every direction. Observers in Boston estimated that there were over 72,000 falling stars visible per hour during the remarkable celestial storm. The Lakota people were so amazed by the event that they reset their calendar to commemorate it. Joseph Smith, traveling with Mormon refugees, noted in his diary that it was surely a sign of the second coming. Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, and Harriet Tubman, among many others, described seeing it. It became known as the night the stars fell. So what was this amazing occurrence? Many of those who witnessed it interpreted it as a sign of biblical end times, but Yale astronomer Denison Olmsted sought a scientific explanation, and shortly thereafter, he issued a call to the public, perhaps the first scientific crowdsourced data gathering effort. At Olmsted's request, newspapers across the country printed his call for data. As the cause of the falling stars is not understood by meteorologists, it is desirable to collect all the facts attending this phenomenon, stated with as much precision as possible. The subscriber therefore requests to be informed of any particulars which were observed by others respecting the time when it was first discovered, the position of the radiant point above mentioned, and whether progressive or stationary, or any, of the, any other facts relate to the meteors. Olmsted published his conclusions the following year. The information he received from lay observers, having helped him draw new scientific conclusions in the study of meteors and meteor showers. He noted that the shower radiated from a point in the constellation Leo and speculated that it was caused by the Earth passing through a cloud of space dust. The event and the public's fascination with it caused a surge of interest in, in citizen science and significantly increased public scientific awareness. Nowadays, we know that every November, the Earth passes through the debris in the trail of com a comet known as Temple Tuttle, causing the meteor showers we know as Leonids. Impressive every year, but every 33 years or so, they are especially spectacular, although very rarely attaining the magnificence of the 1833 event. The Leonid meteor showers are ongoing now and are expected to peak on November 18th. But don't expect a show like the one in 1833. This year at its peak, the Leonids are expected to generate 15 shooting stars per hour, which I think is still pretty impressive. November 12th, 1833, 189 years ago was the night the stars fell. Now that is interesting stuff. Cooper Marcha here. Ciao.